How's everyone doing? Zero here, and here I have a very cool set featuring my Sheik and Monkey's Little Mag, as you've seen in previous videos. Now, this match, just for some background information for you guys, Sheik has a very positive matchup against Little Mac. This is because the way she combos with the 40 or 40 from the grab, which you saw right now on screen, she can you know, convert that follow-up into an upstage edge card right away from low percent. And also, Sheik is one of the best characters in the game at edge carding. And this can, you know, give Little Mac a lot of issues. And as you can see right now on the screen, the match was over in less than 30 seconds. Now, the thing that, you know, Little Mac may have, you know, some topo advantage against Sheik's moves in terms of a strange or knockback, you know, damage too as well. But the thing that Sheik has is the speed, you know, the aerial control, the edge guarding, and the better follow-ups to, you know, simply kill Little Mac from just one grab and throw follow-up. So Little Mac has to be playing very, very defensively and very precise, very careful and aware of all the decisions he makes so that he doesn't end up being off the stage. Now we go off of Battlefield. In Battlefield, the one thing that Little Mac can do is that he actually, when he starts getting combo off the stage, he doesn't end up, you know, every time off the stage because the platforms will mean that out of all the four follow-ups that Sheik will be doing on Little Mac, he may end up on top of the platforms for some of them, effectively, you know, saving Little Mac from off stage. Sometimes. <laughs> All the times it will, you know, still drag him off the stage as you can see there. The iron up for Little Mac is crucial in this matchup. One thing you really want to be able to do in this matchup is have good correctional DI. Let's say you get hit on a certain angle, you need to be able to correct that angle so you don't end up on the stage in horrible angles. What's a horrible angle for this matchup, for example? That will be, you know, ended up on the stage in a sideways downwards angle. Now, you just saw me finish up the match with a backer up stage. Now, at that point, you know, because I am juggling Little Mac up the stage, there's not much he can do once he gets up the stage. His goal should not be settled on what to do off the stage. You know, other than counter, uh, she gets the benefit because she can always wait for Little Mac to throw out that option and then she can strike and have the total advantage in the decision making. What Little Mac should be doing is to focus on not getting grabbed at low percent or forward at low percent. If Little Mac can prevent getting hit by either of those moves, then he will not do his best. But this is this is what we consider a counter matchup, which I think is important for you guys to watch because it shows how, you know, there's characters out there that can, you know, have a big advantage of others. And it also gives you some, you know, background information on why this happens. There's very specific reasons why Sheik does well against Little Mac, you know. Very powerful character on the ground and another character that's, you know, very powerful on getting people off the stage, you know, Little Mac having a poor recovery. And Sheik being powerful off the stage. So it all adds up, you know. So definitely you can keep in mind that information, you know, when uh, using counter picks in tournament play, you know, like you don't want to think about what your character can do. For example, if a character is really good at throws follow up, throw follow ups, uh, think about what you can do to, you know, to not get grabbed, you know, against a character. So a character with a sword will do good against a character that's good at grabs because, you know, uh, the, ca the character with swords can arrange that character or, you know, prevent himself from getting grabbed off them. So yeah, as you can see, you know, um, you know, juggles just end up in, you know, crazy ways for Little Mac. And one thing I did there at the very end was that I shut needles at Little Mac as he was recovering sideways. If you see Little Mac recovering towards you, like, in a, in a ground point of view, like, you can, like, shoot needles from the edge of the stage towards Little Mac off the stage and you hit him with that, he's most likely dead because he does, he's not able to regain aerial momentum quick enough for him to, you know, make it back. Especially if you manage to snipe off his side B or jump and then it's all over for him. So yeah guys, hopefully that gives you, give you guys some insight on more, you know, counter pick matchups in this game. You know, there's a lot of, out, out of them, you know, Sheik and Little Mac is an example out of them, you know. Sheik does do all against heavy characters, for example, like Bouncer, among others. But, you know, I'll be explaining, you know, in future videos, you know, all the matchups and other things as I get the opportunity to record and play. So, you know, I hopefully this guy, this video um, gave you guys some information, you know. Hopefully you guys learn a thing or two to improve your game too as well. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Zero out.